Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a homeware haul for you, but before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So it's a Kate's Clothing Gothic homeware haul. You know how much I love Kate's Clothing. There is, of course, another discount code down in the description and at the, at the end of this video, I'm gonna make you work for it. <laughs> that is March's code and yes, I will let you know about that at the end of the video. But the wonderful, gorgeous, amazing Kate from Kate's Clothing sent me the most ginormous box of stuff that you've ever seen. It was huge, <laughs> the poor postman. <laughs> so there is actually enough stuff in that box for four separate videos. So this is the first video because if I put it all in one video, it'll be so long and you'll all get bored and I'll get bored. And yeah, so we're gonna go on specific topics. So today is homeware. I have four items for you. Some, some fairly usual ones and some really crazy out there stuff. So let's get into this. The first thing that I have is the Gothic Gifts Pentagram Oil Burner. It is here. I will show you up close. It is, if I turn it around here. Now, I have fake candles in it. I'll explain to you that in a minute. So this is 10 centimeters by nine centimeters by nine centimeters. You can burn either oil or wax in the top uh, and you can put yourself a tea light in there. It does say on the website, consider the depth of the bowl before you decide to melt something in there. So it's the, not the deepest bowl. I think if you were going to put a wax melt in there or something, you would need to make sure that it is quite a small one or perhaps maybe chop one in half or something like that. Now, I have two children. They're not young children anymore, you know, they're certainly, one's almost finished preschool, primary school, one is at middle school. They are clumsy, big, hulking things <laughs> and having open flames in our house, let alone open flames and hot oil or hot wax is just not conducive to a safe household in our house. We don't have many, what I would call sort of out of their reach tables or anything. Most of our coffee tables and stuff are pretty low. The only place upstairs that is high where I could put something like this is my dressing table, but then it's got all my makeup on there. So again, I don't really want hot burning oil around it. So I've decided this is just going to be a nice little pretty sort of, you know, ornament kind of thing, which suits me better anyway. I don't have that many Gothic ornaments. So I deliberately bought these safe pretend candles um, I'd also wanted a few for, you know, pumpkins and that kind of thing. Can you see the flame in there? Just about, you can just about get it. I'll of course do some proper B-roll stuff for you so that you can see it properly. I think it's really cute. I did um and ah about putting it on one of my shelves up here, but I think actually you wouldn't see it because that one's too small. And then the crescent moon has got a black back, same with the coffin. So actually I am gonna put this on my coffee table, which you can't see, but is right in front of me uh, so that it can look lovely there. So this is the Gothic Gifts oil burner. It's very sweet. I really like it. I think it's very reasonably priced. And of course you can use that discount code to pick yourself one up, but you'll have to wait till the end of the video to get it because I'm a meanie. <laughs> Okay, now Kate clearly knows me far too well because she knows I love tea. All of you know I love tea. I'm a bit of a tea fiend, particularly in our household. We like to drink loose leaf tea because tea bags are terrible for the environment. And it's really, once you get in the habit of doing loose leaf tea in a little strainer, it, it's no more hassle at all. In fact, it's a lot cheaper. If you buy the loose leaf tea just straight from the supermarket, which is what we do, we buy whatever supermarket's own brand loose leaf tea. It is about half the price of their own brand tea, let alone if you're buying branded tea. So she sent me this Witch's Brew Cauldron Teapot. It's so, so cool. It's got like a removable lid. They do an egg cup that matches this. There's a few bits and bobs on the website that match this. They're all like little cauldron type things. I love the egg cup. I really want to get the egg cups. I just don't eat boiled eggs enough to, to justify <laughs> buying the egg cup. But we are moving house soon 
Um, we are desperately trying to get this house sold and move into a bigger house because the children need more space uh, and so I might well buy them as like a little gift to myself for my new kitchen <laughs> so, <laughs> but at the moment there is no space so <laughs> but I love this teapot uh, so this is 13 centimeters by 18.5 centimeters by 11.5 centimeters it holds two small cups um, or one really really big me size cup <laughs> so, so I would call this a personal teapot I think if you're making tea for two if you were doing very little what I would call like an afternoon tea cup of tea which isn't really a cup of tea it's a shot of tea which, you know <laughs> as far as I'm concerned anyway um, then this would do two tea cups but if you want a decent sized cup of tea it'll do one but that's fine we have a much bigger pot for when we have guests around anyway so basically this is just so that I can feel fancy in an afternoon when the children are at school and I'm making myself a lovely cup of tea but it's really really sweet it pours very well I like the fact it's quite nice and fat as well because some of them are, are very narrow and tall and it's more like a coffee pot and they don't pour very well this is great uh, it however is not microwave safe or dishwasher safe I think if you put it in the dishwasher it won't say this anymore and I dread to think what would happen if you put it in the, in the microwave but why would you put a pot of tea in the microwave anyway never really understood that unless you're one of these weird Americans that makes your tea in the microwave what's wrong with you <laughs> get a kettle <laughs> Sorry, us British people find it very strange when you Americans heat water in the microwave. <laughs> Every household in the UK has a kettle. Everyone has a kettle. <laughs> so, or at least a saucepan and a stove. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, this is really, really cute. I really like it. I mean, it is a little bit of a pain in that it's not dishwasher safe. But to be honest, it's so, it's so you know, dinky that it's so easy to wash out by hand anyway it's no skin off my nose and because of all the the tea silt that we get in it I prefer to wash things like this by hand anyway so for me that is fine I suspect heavy metal hubby will moan like anything that he can't put it in the dishwasher but it's fine I'll just wash it when I'm doing the di you know doing my uh, my cooking or whatever so that is the gothic gifts witch's brew teapot it's so cute I love it I love it really really feeds my witchy tea obsession <laughs> Okay, so the next thing, this is a bit of a curveball. When Kate messaged me, she was like, can I send you some homeware? She was like, some of it's a bit weird. And I was like, okay, okay. And she sent me this. So this is the Alchemy Gothic Black Cat Garden Light. Now, I must admit, when it turned up, I was a bit confused. <laughs> so I'll just go through it and then I'll explain why I was a bit confused. So as you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see. I'm sorry, we've had to move the sofa so that we can s sell the house, which means I had to shove it up a little bit further, which means my backdrop isn't where I had originally planned it to be. So the heavy metal mama background thing here is kind of in the way. But yes, I will show you some proper B-roll shots of this. It is a black cat cutout with um, like a sparkly glittery finish it's it's metal but it's got it feels like it's got glitter sprayed all over it it is battery powered uh, and it is an led light so it's got a photo sensor here that is battery powered so at the moment it's off i can turn it on i will show you how it works later and then it's got these leds all around the back so what you do is you go into your garden and you stuff it in the ground like this close to a fence or um, a building or like a bay window or something like that so that it is not jammed up next to it but it is close enough that the light from behind it is cast onto that fence that backdrop whatever and then reflects the shadow of the cat so you get a cat that is backlit essentially now i must admit when we first got it we were so confused we put it in the ground the other way around and we were like but it doesn't look like the outline of a cat we thought that maybe this gave the outline of a cat and it, it didn't look like the outline of a cat and then we realized from me doing a bit of going on the website and trying to figure out what on earth was was going on that yeah you have to backlight it and it looks really cool backlit it it yeah, it looked weird, <laughs> it lit from the front, but it looks really cool because you, you get this sphere of light behind it and then this cat shadow in the light. So it's really cool. It's something very different to have outside. It's very, very witchy. We love it in the back garden. The kids love it. Our cat's not sure what the hell is going on, but you know. <laughs> 
I think maybe if you had a problem dog in next door neighbour's house, this might be a quite a good way of um, annoying it. <laughs> it's really cute and different. It's just something, I mean, it, it really is kind of out there. I really, when she said, can I send you something a bit odd? I was like, okay. And I really like it. I think it's something that definitely adds a little bit of goth to your home. Um, I think if you had a bay window, it would look beautiful. Just in front of the bay window, sort of casting a shadow on, you know, at the front of your house. Unfortunately, the front of our house is extremely boring. <laughs> it just doesn't lend itself to putting this there, but it does look lovely in the back garden. The kids love it as well. They think it's really, really fun. So yeah, that is the Alchemy Gothic Black Cat Garden Light. And that is on sale at the moment at Kate's Clothing. So with that 15% discount, you can get yourself a real steal on the Black Cat Garden Light. Okay, so the last thing. This arrived on its own a little bit before the rest of the stuff. Uh, and so I did a little short on YouTube for it. And I did a little, little reel on Instagram. It was my first dabble in reels. It didn't quite work the way I was hoping to. The music didn't work for some reason. But uh, this is the Gothic Gifts Coffin. Which way to the wine? Wine rack. <laughs> so, <laughs> Again, I'll give you some proper back shots because you, I can't do it justice here. It is a massive coffin shaped wine rack. It holds six bottles of wine and four wine glasses that slot in the top here. It's a really cool way to display your wine. Now I must admit, Heavy Metal Hubby and I don't really drink, so, but we do have quite the wine collection because Heavy Metal Hubby does he's an electrician and he gets quite a lot of um customers that to say thank you give him a bottle of wine and they're posh bottles of wine as well but us being complete drinking novices we have no idea whether or not we've got a bottle of plonk or a bottle of really posh bottle of wine but you know people when we give them to people because that tends to be what happens or if it's christmas we you know pop open a bottle of wine people are like oh my god are you sure you want to open this wine this wine's like really nice and we're like we don't drink wine we have no idea just please enjoy the bottle of wine but in the new house i really want to put this up pride of place in the kitchen so that we can show off our posh wine collection because <laughs> i'm not going to drink the stuff so we might as well just have it up as a display i just think it's really cool it's very very sturdy i mean if you wanted to you could just use it as a shelf Obviously it's got these scalloped bits here for the bottles, but you know, if you wanted a big, big shelf, you could just use it as a big, big shelf. I think it's great. It fits the bottles of wine really well. It's made of nice, sturdy MDF. It's painted black. It's just really, really cool. I can't wait to put it in our new home. It just doesn't, our kitchen is absolutely minuscule and sadly it doesn't fit which is just another reason why we have to sell our house because, you know, clearly I need to find somewhere that I can give this the proper home that it deserves. So it's another reason to hurry up and move. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I honestly, I think this is such a great piece. Uh, everybody that has seen it has been like, wow, that thing is so cool. It's just so different and yeah, we absolutely, absolutely love it. And I can't wait, it's so much better than that. You know those boring ones that are made out of cast iron and they're literally just circles uh, in a row with legs. No, 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 no. All goth aesthetic all the way with the coffin wine shelf. Absolutely flipping love this. And it's a very reasonable price. I think at the moment it's about 40 pounds, which for a big shelf like this is really very reasonable. And of course, you can use that discount code that is down in the description, or I'm gonna put it in a minute at the end of the video because I'm not gonna keep you waiting anymore. So there will be, of course, be a few more Kate's clothing videos because she is supremely, supremely generous. Thank you so, so much, Kate, for sending me all these things. I absolutely love them. There is gonna be an accessories haul. There is also gonna be a punk rave haul, which I'm so excited to show you guys all the gorgeous punk rave stuff that she sent me and a loungewear haul. I'm combining the loungewear stuff that she sent me with some other loungewear that I've got and some other stuff, yeah, that I bought because people asked for loungewear haul, which, you know, I am more than happy to oblige. <laughs> so it is a new obsession of mine and I love it. So I have loungewear for many different seasons. <laughs> so 
Go check out Coats Clothing, get yourself some amazing homeware. There's loads of other stuff on there as well. Obviously, this is just a little taster of what she has to offer. But wow, what a cross section. We have garden, we have ornaments, we have tea, and we have wine. <laughs> so, so you can use the code METALMARCHON15. I will put it up there i will put it at the end of the video in my nice big tile and it is always down in the description just check on the latest video and i will put the latest code down in the description if you notice that the code is one that's already expired in the description send me a message and nudge me because i have a template that i use for my video description and sometimes i forget to update the code in it so give me a kick if it's not been updated <laughs> so what do you think what was your favorite item of kate's clothing homeware remember to like this video like i said comment down below to discuss any of the things that have come up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever i upload and remember people stay heavy